Hey, what's going on, my YouTube friends? Here's a little fan that I got today at the uh, Cherry Auction Swap Meet. I got this for five bucks. Looks like it's uh, going to be a pretty easy restoration. It's a, a Polar Cub. I'm really not too sure what year it is. I suspect it's from 1949. It says uh, P, so I'm guessing it's patented. Uh, it's really tough to tell. It looks like 1949, but it also looks like 1849, but common sense tells me it's certainly not 1849. Um, the casting is just a little bit tough. Tough to discern if it's an 8 or 9. But anyways, this is, uh, from what I can tell so far without opening it up, it looks like it is an AC, so I definitely do believe it's 1949. AC brushless and I think we're gonna have some fun with this one it's pretty small so uh, anyways I'm gonna take you along so you can uh, see the restoration process that I did on this here's the breakdown of components take a look at how they look Now on eBay, I've seen a couple of these um, these old uh, Cub fans, and I've seen one of them that had a gold colored fan. I don't know if that's original or not, but it looks great. So I'm actually considering having this blade be a gold color. So that's to be determined. Look how small that is. That's so cute. took my Dremel to this and it still I, I'm leaning more towards the 1949 but that's the uh, disassembled parts uh, the before now we'll start cleaning them up alright we're making some progress here I cleaned this up and as you may have seen, it did not have any uh, power wire hooked up to it. So I've got this uh, cloth covered wire. And I've soldered it up to the uh, to the ends there. And I did use my ohmmeter and I did get a reading. So uh, we're, look, we're looking like we're in good shape on this. Clean this up a little bit. This is about the smallest little thing I've seen. Got the blade all painted. I decided to go ahead and go with the uh, gold color, and I like it. Looks great. I've got the motor casing um, all sanded, and um, now it's painted. Just waiting for it to dry. Check out the base. That's looking really nice. I skipped ahead a little bit, assembled the uh, motor and the casing, the motor housing that is, and it does work, but I still have to sand the, uh, the cage, the wire cage, but so far it's looking real nice. I couldn't find any uh, nuts that were the uh, original size, so I got some smaller nuts and um, drilled it out and also um, use my tap and die set to make that nut, make the threads a little larger. So the overall nut size is the original. Got the cloth covered wire. All right, so let's see if it works. Looks like it works well. Here's the 
Here's the wiring. I had to interrupt the cloth because the cloth would not fit in here uh, with the wire. So I just uh, made it symmetrical on both ends and put a little heat shrink to keep that cloth from uh, unfraying. So it looks, uh, looks pretty good and works well. And uh, old style plug. Alright everybody, this is it. It's done. Let's check it out. Not too bad for a little couple hours worth of work on a fan I got for five bucks. That's about it. It's all done.